At the legendary assault rifle? Did we get it? Did we get it? How do you rope animals in place? Caravan spot under miscellaneous. Caravan hitching spot. Legendary assault rifle. This weapon is engraved with a portrayal of a Diabolus being overcome with an assault rifle without emotion or expression. Two flamingos look on. <laughs> the whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of six dentists. The work seems to express hunger. So he wait, he was hungry while he was killing a Diabolus with an assault rifle. And so he made sure to carve that portion of it. <laughs> the first was pretty good. The first I was like, wow, that makes sense for an assault rifle. Excellent. And then it kind of went into a weird place with dentists and flamingos. All right, this gun is going to absolutely annihilate the uh, things. What? Where did they? Where did they take it? Oh, I meant to expand that. There it is. Oh my God, experiment is going to be a god. There we go. Just an absolute unit. What a crazy pawn! I can't believe this guy's story. Started out as a three-year-old kid running from two armies who profaned a pitch, uh, peace ritual. And now he's just a god among pawns and a vampire. All right. It's a different kid? No, that's experiment. It's the same one. Um, I wonder how they're generated. Uh, definitely off like some of them are off past events, but how it chooses which event. I'm not exactly sure what all the things that go into it. What kind of tea am I drinking? I am drinking diet green tea. Uh, specifically Arizona tea diet green. Uh, no, if you have your sanguifage do the, the kiss of death thing or whatever blood kiss, it actually will kill the sanguifage that does it. So... All right. All right. Can you go over 20 skill now? Uh, no. On the actual skill list? No. Not without mods, I should say. Of course. Of course. Hopefully the baby survives. That sucks though. I gotta be faster with no pause on the pregnancy thing. So, yeah. Diabolus green tea. Causes gene regrowth? Oh, really? Was that a, was that a bug thing then? Yeah, because I didn't do it because on day one, people were talking about how there's, uh, there's died or whatever. So it doesn't kill them anymore? Okay. That's good to know. Thank you. Okay. So I'm not going to pass on, pass it on, but no. Um, that's good to know that they won't die. Experiment against the world. Yeah, ex experiment is crazy. His story is one of the craziest stories I've ever had in RimWorld, so. All right. It's like 64%. Can be tended to now. Let's do it. It was never meant to kill them, so it was a it was a bug. Make another every two years and two years after themselves. You made one. Gotcha. Die, Thank you. Master. Ninety six percent quality. Okay. Yeah, I'm worried about this. Uh, they fixed the pink square around children. You'll have to update your game with the hot the hot fix. So. Uh, Eversor, thank you for the sub to Triancrum. Thank you. Walrus, thank you for the seven months. What new war crimes? Oh, I've I've done so many war crimes this playthrough. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the resub. All right, so uh, we got our drugs being produced now. I'm going to go into drug policy. Whoops. And I'm just going to go ahead and select social drugs and... Um, we are, well, actually, you know what? We'll do addiction. That's fine. Uh, and for recreation, no, we're going to schedule psychite T. We're going to have them keep one on, you know what? Let's have them keep two on their person. We're going to take psychite T every three days. Should be safe even for children to have 
Psychite T every three days, I, I think. I don't know. I haven't tested the body size of Psychite T, actually, but whatever. We'll, we'll find out, apparently. <laughs> can I install drill arms on the mortar baby? It looks like we probably can now, yeah. Drill arms on the mortar baby, well. People have been asking anyway, so. Mortar baby, there we go. If you don't know why it's named Mortar Baby, uh, the newest episode of this is up on YouTube. You can see the baby get hit with a friggin' mortar from the Empire. Drugs children? Hey, Pilot Wash, how, how young were you when you first had caffeine? Any pictures of you as a kid having a Coke or anything? <laughs> well, caffeine's not a drug. It's 100% a drug. Your babies are addicted to Psychite T, and for them, the safe interval has been 5 to 10 days. We're just putting no drugs, just on the babies. Better than Lester, yeah. Instant coffee powder by the spoonful. Try it when you were like six, well. So you're not denying it. That's right. In room world, I will drug children. 100%. 100%. All right, let's call in the war queen. Well, actually. I think this child's going to die. Because I didn't click suit enough with no pause. Oh, yeah. Using my platform to push drug agendas either for or against, depending on who you are, apparently. Hmm. Okay. No, there's no immunity thing on it, no. It's a new kind of thing. Can experiment, save the child. Hmm. Implant this person's xenogenes into the willing subject using a special injector. If this person's genes are currently regrowing, they will implant their xenogerm and die in the process. Um, ours shouldn't be regrowing, but is there somewhere where it tells you if it is or not? Because I would really, really hate to screw it up. It's just on the health tab. Thank you. So we should be safe. Do we make the... Can you make an infant? I don't know if you can make an infant. We get made a three-year-old into a vampire, but... Should we see if it's going to survive first? Uh, yes, thank you. One way to find out. It takes like two years to regrow, yeah. Let's see what the next 10 quality is, and we'll go from there. Because we might still end up saving it. We'll see. We'll see. Need to survive a certain amount of time, and the illness decreased in severity. Medical emergency on the baby. It's 78%. We can tend to it again in two in-game hours. We'll see what the tin quality ends up being, and then uh, we'll go from there. I'm betting we're going to have to. Our normal pot is 30 days. Yeah, people have been saying two years for the vampire, yeah. For the single fish. Oh, no. Baby, please. <sighs> Too deep infestation. I don't got time for this. All right, mortar baby. <gasps> wrong, wrong one. No, it's so much steel. 
I don't know. I just by instinct, I put them where where the drills were previously. There's still a drill down there, but I didn't even check. Ah, it's not a lot of steel. They didn't destroy very much. It's fine. All right. So what was the tin quality? I don't know what percent to wait for. Extra hoping playing Zoo can keep you entertained. A new DLC that adds spooky decor and raccoons and foxes. <laughs> Wombats. Yeah, I don't know what percentage we should implant if it's not doing it. Yeah, they managed to only do get one, which not bad at all. It's saying bad instead of grave, so we might have caught it in time. Yeah. Two crafting, Agrahan was 2.5. 20 crafting was 1.6 days. That's a pretty noticeable difference, yeah. Yeah, I think we caught it in time. We'll keep an eye on it. Grave baby thing says in one to three days randomly. Changes. Yeah, now it's like, it's actually going down every now and then. I think we saved it. All right. So you got glitter and 120% plus. We don't have glitter worlds and uh, our tending quality is max at 100%, but it's it's dropped from 81 to 80, so I think we're good. Sterile room, excellent bed helping out. Well, excellent bed, probably not, but sterile room helping with the tending quality. Uh, our modest fellowship expands. Fried potato. Raise this up. Fried potato, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, fried potato. It's been a little while. It's been a little while. Welcome back. Mother's drug or alcohol use affects the baby. I don't know. Yeah, it's dropping. We're good. We're good. All right. Looks like we're good. A new subscriber. Come steal yourself. Fry potato. Thank you for the 10 gift subs. Also very much appreciated. Very generous of you, potato. I want some fried potatoes. Potatoes like I'm here. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciated. I'm right here. All right. We're actually going down in raw food. First time in a very long time. It's pretty normal. Pretty normal now that uh, we're switching out of that rich soil down there. So we will probably end up turning that into at least partial rice, especially as we expand our population more and more First time not watching on YouTube. <laughs> nice. Thank you for coming over here. I appreciate it. Exclamation. Is it food or exclamation rice? I don't know which one. There you go. There's the explanation on the no corn thing because it's asked a, a whole lot. So there, there's the link. It'll go to a timestamp on YouTube. Why no singularity kill box? It is too strong. It's too strong. I used it in my last run and it makes everything aside from breachers just literally no threat at all a raid a mech raid all right let's see they're gonna prepare for a while in the attack okay uh we are already in the walls we're good just in case i'm gonna go through here and see what these man mech's preparing for a while is it it's gonna take a while for me to get used to that that's uh it's a very weird thing to play for four thousand hours without mechs ever preparing before attacking and then suddenly they do. <laughs> How are you playing cornhole with no corn? <laughs> All right, there we go. How do I like this stream? <laughs> How do you grow mushrooms in the mountain? You choose Tunneler as your ideology, as one of your memes, and then you put down uh, fungal gravel. Fungal gravel is a flooring that allows you to grow mushrooms and other things in it. 
uh, under Overhead Mountain. YouTube video, I have a guide on the Singularity kill box. Just Exhibition kill box will... Yeah. It's, uh, it's just so overpowered that I don't use it. I use it every few runs, just depending on the challenge of the run, but it, it's really crazy. You might be saying, that ah, this kill box already makes... Uh, is already overpowered. Uh, it's it's not the same at all. It's it's the singularity box. I can literally kill end game max raids with six people with taking zero damage. So it's it's a little a little strong. All right, here come the mix. We got. I didn't even notice. Wait a minute. This is just a normal mech raid with three diabolus. <laughs> this isn't even when we called in. We got three Diabolus, a Pikeman, seven Tesseron, 11 Lancers, three Legionaries. I don't even know what else. Do we still get chips from them, I wonder? I'm guessing we must. The Tumbler part? Yeah, yeah, you have to be. Tumbler gets the fungal gravel, yeah. All right. Hearing the pig noises is so weird. Uh, I go over to my group of people and suddenly I hear pigs snorting. I'm like, wait, I don't have any pigs. And then Bro Zankian is standing there. And he's like, are you sure? Sure you don't have any pigs? Still lined up too uh, too fast, I think. Okay. This or more termite centipedes? I'd rather have this. Yeah. <laughs> rather have this so far. For production sessions, gets any boost to mech stuff, like making it faster? I don't know. Yeah, that'd be interesting to find out too. That's what you thought, also. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I still have P music. Yep. Yeah. The new weapons for the colonists. Uh, yeah, they're toxic weapons now. And there's also a flame bow. Flame bow and toxic weapons. them a weapon now all right let's see how it goes uh bad thank you for the four bits thank you for that as well
Oh yeah, shooting's gotten a lot better, yeah. That's one reason why I stopped burning some of them. Invest in, are they worth it? Roughly win. Attack friends are, depending on which one you mean, some of them are kind of lackluster, but like, for instance, cataphract helmets and things like that are incredible. Uh, there's some other ones of the implants that are very good as well. I can go through some of them after this. Oh, this isn't even the kill box I'm talking about with six people holding forever. Yeah. Are LMGs good now? No, not really. Here they come. Here's the big ones. They don't drop chips. Huh. I really thought they would. They do not drop chips. So only ones you call in drop them. Or did they? Oh, there they are. You don't get the notification. Okay. So they do drop the chips, no notification. I was waiting for the um waiting for the notification. So when you call them in as a boss one and you kill one, you get a notification on the right side for everyone they're dropped, but uh not notification, but you still get the chips. Okay. Uh, all the things. How's the baby doing? There we go. Baby's going all right. Yeah. So the bosses drop them. You just don't get the notification of them dropping. What weapon is the majority of my people using right now? Assault rifles. Uh, excellent and masterwork assault rifles mainly. Do I have a problem for standing from doorways? I've not ran into anything like that yet. Where'd he go? Oh, she's feeding it. Okay. Bosses have some resistance to EMP. I think it's like 45%. I'm betting they're going to increase it because, yeah, at the moment it's it's not too, uh, not too difficult to just EMP stun and kill with enough firepower. But. Seems like they should probably make them... Maybe make them just adapt faster would be enough, you know? We'll see. We'll see what they do, but, yeah. If the baby isn't fed at a table, will it get the... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah, baby's, uh... Baby's illness is going down, so... Hey, you Niddler, thank you for watching. Watched on YouTube. Still catching up. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me know. Adapt would be good. Yeah, like, maybe they just adapt way faster. Like, maybe only the first EMP impacts them, and then, so. Dadless, not yet. Not yet. Wait, why does it still say 11 cycles, 2.4 days? It said that for, like, ever. Wow, that's annoying. I thought he already did that. It's annoying. Made that mistake too. Yeah, that sucks. We could have been like through two more cycle, two or three more cycles. Definitely gonna make my Mechanitor a, uh, a priority crafter next time. Is the baby still armless? Mortar baby is still armless. Yep. Made that mistake too. Seems like an easy one to get. Yeah. Where can you get the more advanced chips for from the additional mechs? So basically, ARAM, how that works, and for anyone that doesn't know, the first mech boss you, you summon is the Diabolus. The Diabolus is going to give you a chip so that you can research the next level of mech tech, right? So once you research standard mech tech, you will get the option to build mech band antenna. Building the mech band antenna allows you to summon the next boss. That boss gives you the next highest chip. Once you kill her, then you get to high mech tech, which will give you the mech band dish. The mech band dish lets you summon the next tier of boss, and that one drops the final chip that you need for ultra mech tech and for waste pack atomizers. Oh yeah, no worries, no worries. 
What does that do? So lurking basically just means that they're going to have the stream running in some capacity and maybe they're sitting back and just not chatting and watching or maybe the stream's just running while they're off doing something in order to help me out so that it continues to count as a viewer. So a viewer count is a, an extremely important thing on Twitch for many reasons and uh, obviously where you appear in lists and things like that, but also income related uh, a lot of sponsorship stuff is just based only on CCV or concurrent viewership. Oh man, that's kind of annoying that every time the baby just barely goes into that, it pops up. So yeah, lurking just in the lurk command itself is something oh, from, uh, it's a trait from Darkest Dungeon. So. Is Whatever stream on YouTube, I'm not going to say never. I actually have thought Kappa of doing one, one YouTube stream a week just to see how it is, but... Haven't decided yet, so I'll, I won't say never, but maybe. Uh, Alric, thank you for the eight months. <laughs> thank you, Alric. Thank you for the lurk, Nibbler. Yeah, or like playing while watching, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I've looked at the implants already. Yeah, we I'm not capped out on my current um bandwidth, so I haven't went into it yet, but I I will get there for sure. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with the rest of the bandwidth. I might just make some more small mechs for now. Parents pass on all their genes. Not all of them, no. So I was talking about that at the beginning of the stream. Right now, and it apparently seems to be working as intended, but I don't I don't really like it. They might change it. Uh, right now, it would be really hard to do certain themed runs because, for instance, like the Hussar, that's that's the main example I've been using. Hussar don't pass on most of their genes. So right now, if you want to do an all Hussar run, unless you do something with the scenario or you use a mod or something right now, it's very hard to do a continuous all Hussar run. Uh, it's not impossible, though, right? You could, you could definitely... Or Sparky. You definitely just make sure you kidnap all other Hussar you see or whatever, but right now if you're trying to like breed a Hussar army, um it can, it can be kinda kinda crappy. Not the bandwidth. I yeah, I've seen the other chips too, the ones where you repair from a further distance and repair more quickly and the shield one. Yeah, I'll have to go into some of those as well, yeah. Hussar me. Twitch partners, that's no longer the case. So the exclusivity thing, Twitch got rid of that about a month ago. So now how it works for, for partners on, regardless of your contract on Twitch, well, basic contract, is you can stream on YouTube and other platforms now, but you cannot stream at the same time. You can't multi-stream. So like, I could end the stream and go stream on YouTube right now, and I wouldn't get flagged or banned or anything like that. Wouldn't get a strike against me, but I can't broadcast this to YouTube at the same time, or I will get banned or striked or taken out of the partner program. So, I can now stream on YouTube, but just not, like I said, not multi-stream at the same time. All right, let's get some uh, things over here to help with mood while we're throwing EMPs for hours and hours and hours. You can monetize them both, but not simultaneously. Yep. Yeah. Same germline, xenotype. I reduced children with the exact one twice. But not all genes can be. What? So what were the? What were your? What was your genotype? Or xenotype or whatever. What if there's a delay? No. You have to wait 24 hours for the same content to go up on a different platform. Why no table? And they, they can reach a table. They're within enough tiles. Do efficiency builds. No bedrooms. One giant barracks. Almost always because barracks is stronger than bedrooms altogether. Every time I try to use bedrooms, I almost always go back to barracks because it's just so much better overall. Impids should, yeah. They got all of them. Let me know if it works with you on Hussars, because everywhere that I was seeing, even in the, like the reporting in the developer Discord, was saying that like Hussars don't pass on all their stuff. But yeah, let me know. Maybe they've already changed it. There's been hot fixes like constantly, so you can recreate them as a germline. Yeah, that's why I said with like custom starts or custom scenarios. 
Osaras have an implanted one. I, yeah. Or is that must be why? Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see if they change the Hussar one. Maybe that's how they want to leave Hussar just to be like, you know, oh, you can't do like a Hussar playthrough. You can just have them as like part of your army or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, there's hot fixes almost every day. So it's hard to you know. <laughs> Impid Itakin, yeah. Call animals and produce fire. Oh, yeah, this, yeah. You still have the pink box? Yeah, mine got fixed after a uh, hot fix, yeah. What's a Hussar? It's one of the 10 new factions. They're a very, like, a warrior-based thing. You cannot get those bosses in raids until you defeat them a certain number of times, you think? Hmm. Peter Pan run. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and, well, let me check on the baby. If the baby's all right, we're going to go ahead and call in the next boss, next tier of the of the queen. Oh, the baby's going back up to 83%. It's back to grave. Oh, that sucks. It had already fallen. It already changed to not grave. Her milk is tainted. <laughs> Crap. Is it driven by wealth accruement or just buff debuff stats? All of it. All right. First off, imagine if I had 23 bedrooms. 23 bedrooms would be bigger than this base. So not only would that be more wealth, more materials and all that, um, just, just raw, more wealth, more materials, more raid points, but it would also mean more travel time for everything. More travel time for everything because they have to get up, they have to go everywhere, whatever. They're, they're, they're not nearby their stuff. Um, there, and we can combine this with dining uh, and recreation and uh, their jobs. And so we can get, uh, beautiful oh, environment. Expands. We can get Praise spacious environment, a very spacious environment. We get all those things for each of those different things all at once. So it's an incredible mood boost and it saves on, uh, footprint, the size of your base, uh, therefore movement time and therefore how much you get done. Um, there's a lot, a lot to it that makes barracks extremely, extremely strong. I'm gonna go with Holly because there's two L's. Holly, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Do you skip royalty furniture because you can't have it at barracks? No, if I have a ro well, I only make aesthetics royal usually. Aesthetics don't need royal furniture, so aesthetics don't need royal furniture or royal clothing or special food as a royal, so usually I only make aesthetics royal, but if I am doing aesthetic, or if I am doing a royal that isn't an aesthetic, then I will make them a room. Can we preach health on the baby? Babies don't, I don't think you can because babies don't have your ideology. Yeah, you can't. They're not, they're not your ideology. Can they have a kid if they don't have a bedroom? Yes. I'm going to bite the baby. Is this their sleeping problem? No. It only stacks to minus three. They changed that back in like 1.1. So no. The benefits really outweigh the minus three. This room is extremely impressive. So they're getting huge buffs from it. I mean, look at their moods. Do you think disturb sleep is a problem? All right, let's bite the baby. See if that fixes it. Here we go. Blood, blood kiss. So now will it not die from that? Thank you, King of Hashtags. I appreciate it. They were subscribing over on YouTube. Will it stay a baby forever? No. Our vampire that just bit them became a vampire at three years old. The healing spell is for blood. The baby's not bleeding. So every one to three days, randomly, the severity of the baby's illness changes. Grave requires 10 quality, 100% as a break even. Bad, 60%. Normal is 30%. Ouch. Well, we'll see if that saves it or not.
All right, I guess we will find out. Okay. Oh, you're on steel. Okay. Increased walking speed around the base. And I also want to extend, extend this over. Hey, that's finally done. What do you know? Baby survives the experiment too. <laughs> Is it making stone pavement cheaper? No. I can. I mean, I already have over 4,000 steel. I don't want to have to go cut a bunch of friggin' blocks and spend more time, so no. Partial flooring and everything. I do flooring in every single run when I get to mid to late game. Every run. If the only run on YouTube, I think, where there's no flooring the entire game is the Cassandra vanilla run. Can you eat babies? If you kill them first, you can eat babies, yes. All right, we're about to see. About to see if the vampire gene saves the baby or not. Why would anyone want to eat babies? Well, you don't want them to go to waste if they die. They're just little snacks. <laughs> How the baby get sick? So she was going to labor and I was trying to decide who I wanted to involve in the labor. And because of no pause, it didn't pause during that menu and I waited too long so the baby uh, she had the baby with no doctor helping her. So she just came in the hospital and did it herself. <laughs> Here we go. We're about to find out. Involuntary death rest. Slow stars in the game, editor, and select genes are a heritable option. Okay, so as long as you turn that on, stars will work, but you have to... It's not by default, not... Just so I know what to tell people as well. Well, death from disease is at 101%, not at 100, so... Yeah, I think I think it's gonna yeah, it's working. They just fed the baby hemogen yet. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Alright. We saved the baby by biting it with a vampire. <laughs> so now we have an infant that is a vampire. Alright, nice. Excellent. They changed death from disease as well. So he's the actual number. Oh, that's good to know. That would have sucked. So before it had to take to 101. Now it's only 100. That's good to know. Wow. Good thing you let me know that before I did uh, was doing that with like an infection or something. Yeah, that's a kind of big change actually. Ghost. They were the seven months. Ghost. Very much appreciated. Nuclear stomach is completely harmless to a vampire. I have not, but people were talking about that. Uh, on Sunday. I don't know if they tested it yet, though. Uh, 
make a uh, constructoid when this is back up. Lifter is taking the material back to storage before the crafter comes. I've seen other people complain about that bug as well. I haven't had it happen, so I don't know if there's something specific that caused it. But uh, I know other people are having that happen. Heal prisoner pawns, comatose due to lack of... There you go. Uh, just let them... Just let them get over their addiction would be the easiest way. Just tend to them until they're over their addiction. Then you don't have to worry about their addiction when they're up. Now, if they're one of the new people that needs, like, psychiatry or else they'll die, you might have to administer the drug. Have a coffee hot or ice and blended? Well, I'm not the person to ask this to. That's for sure. All right. Well, now that we have uh, dealt with the baby thing, let's see what the next tier of the War Queen is like. And then we'll look at some implants and test those out. Okay. Also, get this done. Make everything one color, so naturally, just paint them random colors just to screw people. Yeah, <laughs> I, I absolutely do. It's modern art, man. You got raided by a raider named Tynan. Usually when I see Tynan, I kill him. I bury him in our kill box. What's my favorite flavor of cheap ramen? Man, I haven't had ramen in forever. I don't know. I, I used to eat the spicy one a lot back when I was like a teenager. I haven't had like... I haven't had, I haven't had ramen or like cup of noodles in a very long time. I can't even remember last time. Yeah, I think the sweet and spicy one. I used to have the, yeah, the chili lime shrimp one I had a lot too, yeah. Your wastelander couldn't drink her psychic tea and others couldn't administer it. Should pick it up. Drinking animation would play. Yeah, that's really weird. I haven't, yeah. You're the only one I've had mentioned that. Were you using any mods maybe that would impact it? Yeah. I don't know. All right, let's summon the queen. Yeah, I did have that one quite a bit too, the chili lime shrimp one. I had forgotten about that one. Okay, summon the War Queen. Seven Militors, War Queen, and two centipedes with burners. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, it's orange again. There we go. When it's orange, you have to work at it again. Any tips for melee only run? Uh, exclamation melee. Just watch that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Is there any limit to how many you can summon? Not that I know of. Yeah. I don't know if they infinitely get stronger and stronger, but every time you summon them, they become stronger. Melee only should be a lot easier than it. Oh, a siege. Melee only should be a lot easier than it used to be. I kind of want to see the War Queen attack them, but they the War Queen stages for a while, so. Melee run is great now. They have a Doomsday. Here's the War Queen. Man, we get a raid every time I call in one of these. I'm sure it's random, but... Here they come. My door is closed. 
Only the ones I want closed are closed. killed them normally but this might be good we might get toxic waste in here which would be kind of cool yeah i could have stealed all the doors and hit them and they would have went after the mechs but then if they kill the queen the chip's gonna be i guess it's not a big deal but these guys i don't think would have beaten beaten that raid and raid value is kind of weird now i don't know what's All right, the mechs are on their way. These guys are pretty resistant. Is he gonna get through? Surely not, no, he's, he's dead. They're dead. Oh, they might get sandwiched by the mechs on the back end of this too. What? Which one's been? Oh, that's the sound of a pig man being burned to death. Oh, all right. Now we know. You never would have thought that you would fear my vampire baby getting murdered by pig pirates. <laughs> bacon, bacon. Uh, so after this, we're going to go trade, I believe. Go do some trading. Man, oh man, the War Queen is slow. This is, uh, this is the second War Queen, I think. So she actually got pretty heavily buffed between one and two. I built the Atomizer. It sucked, and so I got rid of it. Yeah. Didn't feel worth it. The Atomizer takes five days to get rid of ten waste packs. Five days for 10 waste packs and cost 800 watts of power the entire time. Plus, it takes one of the um, end game chips to ha per atomizer that you take. So it's it's pretty terrible. It doesn't seem worth it to me right now. best way, way to get rid of pollution right now it's to drop pot it far far away from you it seems especially on an enemy tile drop pot it to a far away enemy tile just straight on top of them it's a lot cheaper than the atomizer that's for sure I put them in there too, again. How do you select pawns for the mortar without any mod? Do I look at their happiness meter? No, I just choose the highest shooting skill. So back when they changed mortars in 1.3, they made it so higher shooting skill reduces the miss radius of a mortar. So I literally just pick my best shooters and put them on the mortars. lined up too early again with these slow mechs i need to wait until they're about halfway through mm -hmm. 
Should be intellectual as well. There was a mod that did that intellect and shooting, but yeah. So after level eight shooting, you start get better at mortars. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Thank you, Kitsune. Thank you for hanging out while you could. Much appreciated. Uh, Kanban Red. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here. Also appreciated. What did we get my daughter? Uh, I'm not going to go through the list of what all she got for her birthday, but... Uh, one of her big presents this year, because she she's now in band. Uh, she's in she's in band and she's doing percussion. So she has a xylophone and stuff like that at school that she uses. But the big one this year was drums. So she has drums now. She's not allowed to play them while I'm uh, streaming though. But she's at school right now anyway. So that was her big one, but she got a bunch of stuff, yeah. For birthday dinner, uh, she wanted to go to Olive Garden. So we went to Olive Garden. She's almost a full calendar year older, that's right. Olive Garden and uh, she... She took one of her friends with her. It's the first time she took a friend with her on her birthday for like a dinner like that, so. And my daughter got the lasagna. Drum Street win. <laughs> Every time we try to do a ritual that involves a prisoner, they start the ritual, but in the moment when the pawn picks up the prisoner, the ritual is canceled. I have not ran into that. Yeah, they're going to have to make it so the boss ones are... They they have to adapt faster or be immune to EMP. Because, like... <laughs> Is this game worth it? I'm not sure yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. I've had over 4,000 hours in the game and I stream it for a living. So I'm not sure if it's worth it yet or not. Hopefully I find out soon. I'm extremely biased. So, I mean, if you if you come to a stream where someone is streaming a game for a living, they're probably going to tell you it's uh it's it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. But yes, uh I obviously think it's worth it. Of course. I'm going to have one of those Steam reviews. It's like, I'm not sure yet. 4,000 hours. How do you summon the mech bosses after Diabolus? I need to clip this one as well because someone just asked and I went through it. So I'll go through it much faster. After you kill Diabolus, you can research standard mech tech. Standard mech tech unlocks the mech band antenna. Build a mech band antenna. Use it. It'll summon the queen. Once you kill the queen, you'll get the thing to unlock high mech tech. Once you unlock high mech tech, you'll get the ability to make a mech band dish. Use the mech band dish to summon the next boss, and then you'll get the next chip from that. So basically, every time you get a new chip, you unlock a new research tier, and you make a new building to summon the new boss. Yep, no problem. You don't think I can return the game after 4,000 hours? Well, I guess I'll just have to contact Steam support. Let's see if I can get around that. Build a bench. Yeah, yeah, so you'll, you'll have to do that, yeah. Okay. All right, we need to uh, stock this again. So we're going to go into work here. We're going to turn off construction on everyone. We're going to go to structure and have them place the wooden fence. You might be saying, Adam, why are you having them place the wooden fence if they can't build it? I'm happy you asked. It's so that I can burn people alive again at my leisure. Are we to the super boss mech? Uh, I thought we already... Did we already do all the bosses? I thought we already did them. Right? Yeah, we've already done all. all. Yeah. Can you resummon bosses? Yep. Every time you summon them, they come with more escorts. We are currently making our own boss mech, but yeah, we've already killed all the bosses. You can kill them again. For more chips, which you will need. Uh, 
Uh, you made a clip. Thank you. Uh, if you just post the link to it in the Discord, that would be the easiest place for me to get it and then put it on the bot. Thank you for doing that. Uh, there is a channel actually in Discord for clips specifically, and I, I have been making some commands out of them. Can you summon all three bosses at once? I imagine you probably can. Yeah, we haven't done that yet. We should do that sometime, though. The Rots and the Killbox, those are Militor. Those are our our little bots. They they have um, little shotguns, little shotguns. Not closing the doors is because it gets so friggin' hot. So there's there's a couple of things behind it. Double walls hold in temperature more. So I have the double walls and double doors the same thing. But it gets so hot that it it can't get rid of the heat fast enough, so Oh you can paint you can paint your artwork. Nice. That's pretty cool. Do you equip the bot? No, it's predetermined. The bots have their own individual weapons. You can't, like, re-equip them to something else. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's considered a room because of the doors. It's considered a room. Now, if a place is considered outdoors, it will immediately stabilize to the temperature outdoors, so... <laughs> yeah, um, that's what I assume now, too, is you can just literally paint everything. Like the Greek statues. It's really weird looking at the Greek statues of how they used to be painted. Feels odd. Feels odd. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go in here and I am going to go ahead and change the assault rifle. We're gonna put it on one, but we're gonna have them make x or better now. We're gonna upgrade to a crazy firepower. How do you get the AI to move towards the kill box? Uh, exclamation pathing. Exclamation pathing. Symphony. I have a guide on it specifically. So watch that. There's timestamps. It's short. If you have any questions after that, let me know. Do you close the doors in the beginning? I do not close any doors in the burn tunnel. Nope. I used to a long time ago, but it's just a waste of time. And it it's a waste of time and it's dangerous, so no. I no longer close any doors. Can I explain the turret surrounded by the doors? I can. Exclamation passing. It's in that video. There's timestamps, but yeah, it's asked a whole lot. Exclamation passing answers all those questions. If you type that in the chat, you'll get the link. It causes collision is the very short answer, but if you want the details, exclamation passing will get it to you. Oh yeah, no, no, no need to apologize. Nope. You can ask whatever you want. Ask whatever you want. I might not know the answer, or I might not have the time to answer, but if I do, I'll I'll answer. Does painting affect wealth? Uh, I don't think so. Tinctoria itself does, but I don't think the painting does. Popcorn flavor. Why is it objectively white cheddar? I like white cheddar a whole lot too, Vel. My wife absolutely hates it. So I, I, I'm in agreement. You have to use doors because turrets can't see through walls. Yep. Are those fire foam poppers? Yes. Thanks, YouTube guy. <laughs> watching Igor still. Thank you for watching that. All right. I need to go trade. Like I said, I was going to after this. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so we're going to form a caravan. Come up here. Send sacrifice. Uh, going to grab our animals. Whoops. Been meaning to do this for a little while. So we should be able to get pretty much everything from them. Okay. 
Here we go. on out. Oh, crap. So I have the doors restricted. Okay, I think we're good now. Okay. I think we still only been ambushed once this playthrough and uh, it got cheese, so we didn't actually have to do the fight. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose, though, but it is what happened. It is what happened. All right, head on out. Uh, the third boss is the one that resurrects them. What's the name of the third one again? We did kill it. Um, I forget its name. But anyway, it resurrects dead mech, so if you... Just keep killing the mechs themselves. It will keep resurrecting them. Was it Apocriton? Apocriton? Apocriton. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, it, it literally happened. So the way it happened is we got ambushed as we were about to enter our tile. So I got the pop-up that we were being ambushed, but then we entered our tile. So it didn't count it. <laughs> Welcome back. Your steadfast Because the guy that got ambushed was literally already in our base, so... Grant, think of the six months, Grant. They were watching it on YouTube. A masterwork rifle, nice. They were watching it over there. Very much appreciated, also. Accidental cheese, yeah. Yeah, the Apocriton is pretty cool, Apocriton. All right, we're gonna go ahead and launch some more waste at our enemies. Okay. And we're probably gonna have to, let's go ahead and switch this over to Psychoid and we're gonna got a lot of people to feed now. So switch these over to rice. Oh man, 10 more cycles still. That's that hurts. That hurts. We could have been done with it or close to it. Okay, let's dump our trash on these stupid tribals down here. Tribals. <laughs> what does toxic waste do if you store it in drop pods? I assume it does the same thing as like meat and will just never go bad, yeah. High second drone. It's not good. Let's make sure we're staying inside the walls during that. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can make your own Apocriton right now. Not that I know of. Yeah, you can make the Centurion. So the Diabolus, the Centurion, the War Queen, and then Apocriton seems like the one you can't you can't make. Yeah, I don't know. The, the mortar hitting the baby was nuts. Uh, pretty crazy. All right. We have arrived. Let's trade with the pig people. See if they have enough that we want to buy here. So we'll buy all your components. Might buy their advanced components at this stage. We're to love death rest capacity serum. They're only 1400. That's not too bad. We can get pig ears on everyone. <laughs> Maybe we'll start going into gene editing today. Oh, we finally get a telescope. Nice. Uh, let's get the advanced components. Oops. Come on back. I'm doing okay today. Thank you, Johnny. That can burn mechs with its big beam. Mechs can't burn, but you get there's other damage so the same thing with lightning um lightning is temperature damage but it can destroy a wall for instance so i think it's kind of similar to that either one needs food or everyone's op in combat oh with the genie editing yeah 
No, I haven't been stealing any jeans, yeah. I haven't done any jean stuff at all. Not yet. You think... So you do think two Militors are worth more than a Centipede? I mean, they are right now, but I don't know. Where's the baby? The baby's in its crib. Where's your stunt? Pump is still slow, yep. They did not change change that, unfortunately. Miss anything major? Um some raids, some boss mechs, um, a baby being born, nearly dying, and us biting it. So we have a we have an infant that is a vampire, not even one year old. Aside from that, not too much. How's mortar baby doing? Mortar baby, mortar baby is six. So down, Zandy. You're gonna get hurt. I'm telling you. Do vampire babies age? Yes. I had Zandy in there. Yeah, he's been there forever. Another Volcanic Winter. This time a quest, though. <laughs> Do you want Volcanic Winter for 13 days for a slate bed? Uh, oh boy. No. Absolutely not. Th thank you. We know you're over 200,000 wells, but what about a slate bed? Oh boy. <laughs> What's the ground patch with that many colors? Uh, it's modern art. It's painted, it's painted, just literally painted. It was a unique bed. It's extra hard. <laughs> Such modern art. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll repair those and we'll take out our new mech there. Scenario killback still work? Yes, it does. I'm gonna make it a QR code? That'd be interesting, actually. Figure out a QR code that links to my YouTube channel or something. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Thank you for watching it, uh, Symphony. I appreciate it. Yoshi. 
Whatever, Yoshi, I don't care. Good life, gamer. Started a social fight with our pig man here. He has a name. Rosankian openly insulted Get Alive Gamer's muscles. Look at this stupid base ladder and his stupid mu lack of musculature. He wishes he Don't kill him! Oh, Brozankian won! 100% thought Brozankian was going down there. <laughs> Brozankian at the last moment. The victor. The victor. Can you make babies teach themselves? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Seems a little bit buggy at the moment. Right now, the reason I actually have someone set to do it is because I need that person to play with the baby. So. And the baby one and the children one is not separate. Make fun of his muscles now. That's right. That's right. Why they set schedule to sleep in the middle of the day? Because it's a very overpowered schedule. Um, exclamation SCH. I have a guide out on it if you want. There you go. It's literally the biphasic schedule. I tell people out of all the things I've discovered in the game over the years, out of everything I've done in 4,000 years, or 4,000 years, 4,000 hours, I've been playing this game for 4,000 years. It feels like it sometimes. Anyway, um, the most powerful thing in the game that I've ever come up with on my own or discovered on my own is the biphasic schedule. That link will take you to the guide about it. It's so strong for mood. Yeah, it's it's actually nuts. <laughs> that needs to link to a Rickroll. Yeah, that would be nice. All right, we're so close to being done with research. The drone is done. Okay. All right, we got a new constructoid. We'll put him on auto repair. We'll give him a randomized name. Gadget, I like that. Gadget. And Gadget, you will go into group two. And I'm gonna put you on unrestricted so you can deal with the burn tunnel. Firewall is red. What link? Uh, exclamation SCH. Exclamation SCH. If you type that in the chat, it'll go to the, the guide about it. Man, that's some really red floor. It's kind of crazy. It's actually really crazy. All right, so. I have a website of source all your guides. Yes, uh, adverseeverything.com. Yep. Uh, you can look at the written version of the guides on adverseeverything.com. This is like eye piercing. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> that is, that's red. That is very red. That's red right there. There's a way to auto collect silver Android. I don't know if like BTDV has a any kind of plugin for Android. Yeah, I don't know. Person to watch to learn about RimWorld. Well, thanks, nerdy. Thank you for coming in. All right, we're finally going to uh, get rid of this over here. I'll probably just connect there instead. Interesting approach to interior design. Have you ever been to a children's hospital? It looks just like this. There are random squares of color all over the place. There's piles of rice on the floor. Uh, assault rifles laying about. Uh, I don't know if paint adds wealth. Tinctoria does itself, Tinctoria plant, but I don't know about wealth. Or I don't know about once you use it. The beautiful base challenge. I have one of those. Child size rifles? No, full size for everyone. Full size for everyone, of course. Alright, we're gonna make another sub core. Everything with the assault rifle is true. <laughs> it's pretty pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. 
yeah, let me know if you find out. I, I doubt it will because it didn't when you added it to armor before, so it would be kind of weird. So. We only had heavy SMGs in my hospital. Sorry. Our modest fellowship Sad. expands. Praise the sub. Ah, uh, Lord Anubis, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here. Anubis? What kind of monster would give a child an inferior assault rifle? Not me, that's for sure. Hey, speaking of, we got Masterwork. We are going to be doing so much damage here soon, it's going to be really stupid. Masterwork's where things really start getting nuts. Click the shelf, for God's sake. All right. Let kids use SSGs. Should give them crude weapons like mortars. Teach them to work together. <laughs> Mortar teams ready. How many guns have way more moving parts? Probably, be, yeah, that would probably be more fun for them, yeah. Yeah, it is weird the game always cooks the shelf first. Yeah, exactly. As you saw, I have not got used to that at all. All right. A few other things I want to set up now. Um... I'll just go ahead and put some more concrete down over here. See some working time that's uh walking time that we need to increase there. Okay. We don't rise. Looks like we're pretty stable with how much we're making right now with this amount of colonists. Might end up doing one more um, hydroponic setup later. I think we're okay right now. Paving over paradise a little bit, a little bit. Maybe I'll call in the third mech again. All right, I was gonna look at implants. Let me do that. Let me look at the implants. Also, hang on a second. We still want to make the mech lord suit. I could make that. But yeah, let's. Uh, oh, I need to make a uh, bionic eye. I keep forgetting. Make bionic eye. There we go. Make one of those, please. Uh, let's look at the implants. Oh, I move that up here. Okay, implants. Um, repair probe. You have six of those. Remote shielder. M make mech gestation processor. Implant, which increases the speed at which a mechanator can produce mechs in a mech gestator. The processor optimizes behavior, blah, blah. Six times. That'd be really nice. Let's see. What does it take for the gestator? Oh, it only takes the normal chips. Floor colors and sheer terror. Let's go ahead, Stan. Sheer welcome in. His lover pregnant and then rejected her proposal. Ooh, ouch. That make a guy for even touch process. I would like to do that, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's make one of these processors. Redeem him, Alpha Chad. Yeah, that's that is rough. That's rough. 
Thanks for the YouTube content. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for watching over there. New to the game and it's helping you a ton. That's awesome. Uh, another thing too, sorry, if, if you ever have any RimWorld questions, the best place to post them for me and a lot of really no knowledgeable people here in the community is in the Discord. Our Discord is actually pretty active. You don't have to be a subscriber or anything like that. So uh, if you've used Discord before, uh, here is the server for you. We have a RimWorld channel in there and uh, it's really active. So if you run into any questions and I'm not live or something like that and you you want them asked or you want them answered, uh, feel free to join the Discord. That goes for everyone in the in the chat also. If you haven't already joined the Discord, uh, it is it is an active Discord. So okay, we're gonna link those together and we're gonna put body parts there. Put that on critical. Okay, let's do the vods. Play your own games. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people still do that. Yeah. So we helped you with your game was chugging. Yeah, lots of knowledgeable people. And, you know, I don't play with a whole lot of mods, so I'm not super knowledgeable about tons of mods or anything like that. Uh, but there are a lot of people in there that are. So it's another, another nice thing is you got plenty of people in there that know all the mod and stuff. So light colors have any impact on gameplay? No, it's just design, yeah. Aside from Dark Light. Dark Light is the only one that has any um, change on gameplay, and that's only if you have the Darkness Precept or Meme, basically. From Ideology, I should, I should explain. Okay, we're getting switched over to all these new streams today. No, this is, is pre-recorded. It's pre-recorded, I'm sorry. Problem eventually having a build up of idle colonists, their tasks are all complete. So there's a couple things I highly suggest. In the early game, sometimes people ask me, Adam, why do you have so many research benches? So in the early game, what I will do is I will set everyone on a four for research, even if they're bad at it. And if I see someone idle, I throw down another research bench because all the research is poured together and the points all add together and get your research done. In the late game, it's okay to have some idle people, but in the late game, I do something similar, in which case when someone is idle, I'll throw down a ground penetrating scanner in the very late game, because if they are not doing anything else, they can start um, working on discovering like steel. So yeah, we need to move this. Stuff like that. So you can definitely do that um, if you haven't already. That, that's what I do. So idle hands in RimWorld, especially in late game, isn't a huge deal. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it a ton, but of course it's more ideal to always have people doing something that is uh, good for the colony, for the benefit of the colony. And those will always be. So throw down extra research benches and let them do that. And um, the ground pen train scanner is a research job. So it kind of goes right into that in the late game. Uh, our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Yeah, you can get research done really quickly that way. Yeah, no problem. Uh, F no, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here. But yeah, if you end up watching any of my playthroughs on YouTube, you'll see that I pretty much have, like, right from the beginning, I'll have a research bench for every single person. That's that's why. Don't set me to research. I can't be bothered. <laughs> please, Sky God, please. <laughs> oh, I want to finish this. Man, we could have been done with it. Feels bad. Feels bad it wasn't automatically doing it. Okay. Is the ground penetrating scanner much? But you assume the resources in the ground don't respond? They do. They changed that a long time ago. So back in 1.1, so if anyone doesn't know, I'll go to it. Uh, oh, I just have one. So here's the ground penetrating scanner, right? So now what it does is, well, let me talk about the history of it a little bit, just really quickly. So before 1.2, I think actually, before 1.2, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter when, what you did is you built one of these and it would discover all the material on the map. There was a set number of material on the map and discover it all and no one had to use it. You just built it and you just saw them all. And once they were done, they were done. But they changed it around that time, 1.1, 1.2, to where it is a research task that will spawn new ore. So for all intents and purposes, you have infinite ore as soon as you get to ground penetrating scanner. 
Uh, it is a research task. It's the bottom research task. So they'll do all other kinds of research first and then they'll run the scanner and it will just keep spawning ore forever on your map. As long as it has power, as long as someone has that job and is there, it will always spawn more ore. Yeah, I don't, I know it's a smithing job. My Mechanitor is not good at crafting or smithing. So I don't want to set, I could technically set him to tier or one priority for smithing and then make sure I set all these bills only allow certain other people to do them. But I just can't be bothered. <laughs> Rosankian, another fights. Anzer loudly insulted Rosankian's parents. What a jerk. Yeah, no problem, nerdy. Uh, Bionic Eye, that's actually going on Brozankian when he's healed up. Isn't it Quarry Mod? Yeah, I've never used the Quarry Mod. I know they're pretty, uh, pretty popular, though. How sick baby? Sick baby was dying, so we turned them into a vampire. <laughs> so. But Adam, they're an infant. Yeah, they are. They are. Corey's OP mod. My my big thing with Rimworld is like literally play what it, it's a game. Play it however you want. I did have a recent like weird thing on YouTube where someone was telling me that you should not play Rimworlds for fun, that that's what's wrong with society and all this. And he, it wasn't a troll either, but I won't get into that. It's, it's on the Discord if anyone wants to check it out. It was just so bizarre. But anyway, Rimworld is a game. There are tons of mods for it. Play with or without mods. Do whatever you want on Rimworld, as long as you're having fun. Screw everything else. This is how I like to have fun. Sometimes people ask me like, why do you play with no pause? It's fun. I like no pause. Why do you play on 500%? That's how I like to play. It's fun. For me but uh yeah if, if you like the quarry mod or like you know um the mod like deep stacking where you can stack infinite things whatever whatever it's a game i know it was such a weird conversation yeah it was very very bizarre fun ew what fun playing room world make shells <laughs> it was really really weird yeah Cause he's a masochist. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Okay. What's in the small altar room? Exclamation altar well, is a very short clip that explains it. It's asked a whole lot, but exclamation altar, A L T A R. Dark Apostle, think of the Twitch Prime also, and. Uh, Spot of Sal. Thank you for the resub. Thank you, Sal. How about like the DLC? I'm liking it a whole lot. Right now, we're trying to get our own boss mech, and then after that, I'm going to go into jeans. What's the use of so many mortars? I like to have like 10 plus mortars. The use, I mean, mortars are not very accurate, but you don't need accuracy if you fire a friggin' volley of bombs, right? So... Made you buy a DLC, you made all the classic D&D &D races. How did I like Stardeus? I like Stardeus very, fairly well. I will go back and try it sometime when Biotech is settled down, or try it more, I should say. But uh, I liked it overall. Yeah, it's... Um, I didn't get very far into it, so it's hard for me to give like a huge opinion of it yet. But uh, it looks like it has a good groundwork to be a, a good game. Overkill is the best kill. That's the way yeah, it is actually what I always say. Yeah, more alt or more mortar is the better, honestly. Oh my god, I gotta get used to it selecting those first.
Make EMP shield. Do I have X? We're just gonna do that's ah, him's fine, whatever. Whatever. Okay, that should be fine. Is there a way to make dryads in the tree attack enemies reliably? They seem to behave different from normal animals when drafted. Uh, they're very finicky, yeah. If you're talking about the like claw and the and the bark skin one. Yeah, I don't I don't really like them because they're not very reliable in combat like that, but yeah. Not that I know of really. Yeah, we need to hit sieges fast because they blow off baby's arms. That's right. Ooh, two big raids. More res serum. I wonder if they made them less rare. That's about 120 melee tribals. Shooting ability actually make a difference for shooting with the mortars? It does. They changed it at 1.3. Anyone over eight shooting starts getting a bonus to reduce miss radius with mortars. So yes, I wouldn't choose the Zeus hammer because well, we probably won't use no pause. I always play no pause. Yeah, I have for the last four or five years. I don't think they're going to be... It says roughly that size. The second one could be a breach. This one we could take care of just very easily. I think I might as well do it. Shield belt's good, yeah. Masterwork shield belt, but... It's been so long I don't even know how to pause. I can't even remember the last time I played with pause. Like, literally, like, maybe five years ago. All right, let's do it. All right, they gave us some uh, expendable people here. Uh, it's pig people, yeah. It's talking about pig people, yeah. <laughs> okay. Try say phasic. Yeah, that's in my scheduling guide too. It's very strong. Yeah, there's even a quad phasic, but it's kind of extreme. Extra extreme, yeah. Don't even use your live pause button. No, yeah, that's right. What's with the red lights? Because we want them to see red while they're killing. Lights now, you can research them to be like RGB. So. Found any tricky ways to handle pollution? There's two things you can do. One is an exploit and one isn't, but it seems kind of dumb. So the main thing right now is literally just launch it into an enemy tile. Just launch it in a drop pod, enemy tile, no, it doesn't matter. As long as it's far enough away, you don't. it doesn't matter at all. The other thing, though, if you want to exploit it, what you can do is you can have someone that you don't care about, like um, get a random recruit or whatever. You can pile them down with a bunch of animals full of toxic waste, send them out somewhere, and let them die. Let the caravan die. If a caravan dies with all of the toxic waste on them, it doesn't count it as dropping it. It just disappears. So that's the exploit at the moment, but it does require you to have someone die that you, that you don't care about. And you're probably going to lose some animals, obviously, if you take animals out there with you. But, uh, yeah. Those are the two current current ways. The atomizer is kind of crap, I think. Atomizer, not too great so far. Atomizer takes 800 watts of power and takes five days to dispose of just 10 bags. I can just dump it. Atomizer. <laughs> Solution spread to the tile. Call dies on. It didn't appear to, no. Nope. It just, at the moment, that's why it's cheesy. It just disappears. <laughs> Collapsing overhead mountain on it. That's interesting. Yeah. I haven't done that one yet.
Hanser scared me for a second, but whatever. Strong, do you think Darkness Tunneler Vampire would be? That would be pretty awesome, man. I think it'd be... Darkness Tunneler with a Sunblocker is already extremely strong. So adding vampires in the mix makes... Uh, yeah, would make it even crazier. The solution for pollution is dilution. Uh, all right. Is that the quest one? That's the quest one. So you might say, Adam, just mortar them. Nah. So, yeah, all melee, normal raid, 106 big people. I don't think I'm going to burn them. I think I'm going to burn the second group. I think I'll kill first, burn second. They are imps, though. Imps burn. Yeah, they do. Maybe I burn the imps, kill the second. Not sure. Yeah, these are imps. We're protecting the pig people, yeah. I go get these barrels once we're done with these raids. It's still cannibalism if they're pig people. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, yes. I haven't opened the Ancient Danger. I just haven't gotten around to it. No actual reason. No actual reason. Start capturing impids. Yeah, that's another thing too. We could just grab some as prisoners. Yeah, well, I, let's just kill them. I'm using shelves where I need them and it makes sense. Yep. Don't like shelves? I love the new shelves. Absolutely. That's why I'm using them here and 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 here. I have like dozens of the new shelves. But people ask me all the time, yeah. A buffalo went wild. What is this? Prepare for a while. All right, this is the next one. Holy crap, that's a lot of imps. It's 120 in that one. Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll fight the first ones uh, and the second ones we will burn, I think. Probably. <laughs> that's one of the most common questions. Singularity is better. Singularity is an overpowered kill box. It literally uses exploits in the game to be overpowered. Uh, it, it's it's way better than this one. Why? Because the enemy can't shoot back at you. I could, and I have, during the Winston Waves run that I did, The we used that one, and... I could, I was beating like literally 200 centipedes with like six or eight people shooting without taking any damage. Can you burn impids? You can, yep. We already have. So yeah, the singularity kill box is just, just overpowered, yeah. I have all the VODs and Winston Wave saved, but unfortunately, Biotech came out too quickly before I could get it on YouTube. But I do have them saved for someday. Someday. Oh, well, the game's getting laggy. 200-something tribals here. Breacher's still a pain to deal with. There's been no change with Breacher's, so they're just the same, yeah. It's going to be hard to watch pre-Biotech content. Uh, the Winston Waves runs are interesting enough. It might not be. Also, I did a Back to Vanilla run as well between the two. I actually did quite a few runs between what's on YouTube and now, but... 
Anyway, back to vanilla, and that one makes sense to post anytime ever, you know? So. Let's go, impids. Get up. Get up here. You Google it, and it came up. Well, yeah, because we invented the name in English for the for it, so... The reason it's called the Singularity Killbox is because that's the name that I that I chose when I put the guide out. It's kind of a weird thing to be like. We even talked about it in the Discord. I was like, what should I put the name of it before I release it? Because that's what it's going to get dubbed as in English. So it was uh, it was an interesting discussion. When I use the burn box, uh, usually when it's any kind of humanoid raid that I just don't want to deal with. Like I could use it now, but... We might not get any prisoners from this. We have such a high population intent or curve. Burn tunnels work on impids. Yes, they're not immune. It gets to a thousand Celsius. It works on them, yeah. We're going to have to fight the other one, too. Well, we're going to get a lot of shooting experience. We're going to have to rebuild a lot of that. They resist fire. Yeah, but they're not immune. Or resist, resist, but not immune. We're getting a lot of shooting experience, so. Those are Plasteel, which has higher HP than Uranium. Keeps going back to 1x every time. That must be a bug with the new setup for no pause. Oh, he actually got some fire. Uh, he got some fire off. No, because if I open that door, they're going to come out that way. A lot of these are going to end up bypassing this entirely when that gets broken, so. Probably should have just burned them. But oh well, lots of leather. It's the heat that kills them, yeah. It gets to 1,000 Celsius, so. There they come. All right, the first two groups are leaving. Now we gotta deal with the next one. No prisoners. Oh crap, what? I didn't think about that. That shooting experience. The humidity is the problem. <laughs> it's a dry heat. So it does, that doesn't make sense. Oh, we had a prisoner. We killed him. We're going to wait to sin because I don't want these guys to steal the res serum and leave. Burn box, speed of the process of cooking them? No. No, the wood gets way hotter than the uh, steam geyser right off the bat. How are you supposed to deal with this without a kill box? I'm glad you asked. I did an entire 5% no pause playthrough with no kill boxes. It's up on YouTube. It's the most recent run before biotech. I did a run with no cover, no cover, literally no cover, no trap tunnel, no slowing tunnel, just nothing. So you can check that out if you'd like. It is up on YouTube. It's the one with the red border. And it has me on there looking all muscular. It, it's uh, it's one of the runs I'm most proud of, yeah. What I use to ignite the wood? Molotov. Molotov.
Prisoner! Prisoner! The one just before biotech on YouTube, yeah. The one before biotech on YouTube. There's another one. I only see two. Are you seeing a third one somewhere? Any idea what the next one will be? I'm not sure yet. How to deal with the dead bodies? I eat them. Late message, gotcha. The reason that raid wasn't sent through the oven, it was sent, but I didn't light it because I wanted to get prisoners. Oh, there is. Uh, that's a bot. That's a bot. Yeah, that's my bot. It's not a prisoner. Is that the one you're talking about? Oh, no, that one got up. Ah, oh, we killed it. Killed him. All right. You can start toyed. If you destroy all the printed weapons, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do. I'll probably end up finally making a. Um. So the auto repair. Probably finally make a. Uh. Crap. No, I already made one. Never mind. I was. I'll probably make a smelter. We already made a smelter. But in addition, I might make a crematorium now. All right, let's let them rest for a little bit. How long until we can do this? Three days. Bolt goods. Oh, very good timing. Uh, chop these up. So, can Q start chopping? I'm not sure why I'm clicking the wrong button over and over. Zero. Chop, chop. Okay, getting those rebuilt. That's actually the more important one to rebuild. Let's have a cord, grab that one. Our turret's bad. Kind of. A, a turret is the same as a level 12 shooter these days. Level 12 shooter with a short bow. So every normal turret you have is a level 12 tribal with a short bow that can't move. If you're talking about the normal turrets. So they also can dictate the pathing of sappers. So that's what I mainly use them for is for sapper pathing and for um, collision purposes. But if you're using them for defense, just, just think of them as that. So use them to tank. They don't tank very long and they explode. But yeah, that, that, it's, that's basically what it is. Level 12 shooter with a level 12 tribal with a crappy bow. Our second night's been 10 minutes. <laughs> Sounds about right. Trigger happy read for sure. So, all right. How do you grow Nutrifungus in the sun? Put a roof over it. You can, you can plant Nutrifungus straight into the ground as long as you put a roof over it. But yeah, you can't plant it in the sunlight. It'll just die. Do anything to prevent prisoner escapes. Uh, I usually use an exploit to make it so they just can't escape. But at the moment, I just shoot them if they try to come out. Used the exploit for a little bit earlier, but I stopped. You saw Nutrifungus. Oh, oh, yeah, that's Devil Strain, yeah. 
Uh, Nutrifungus. No, that's not true. That's not true. Nutrifungus does not have to be grown underground. I, I'll show you. All right, well, I'm gonna build that and I'll show you. The new mechs, how strong? They, it varies, it varies pretty widely. I did, I I did some playthroughs very recently where I was Tundler on an open map, just making neutral fungus. And people were like, what? I thought you had to grow fungus under the mountain. No. Nope, you don't have to. Try to be a Tundler or whatever. Tundler have the, uh, Fungal gravel, but you don't you don't have to have that. You, yeah, you don't have to even enclose it. I was just showing like if you want to make a grow room, basically, but it just needs roofed. Yeah. So let's see here. Sell all that. Uh, get all their components. What else do they have? Nothing we really care about. Sell all of these. We're about to make a bunch more anyway. We're not even going to go through and, and choose which ones. Most all the Winston Wave runs a Tunneler. Yeah, Tunneler in the open. Yeah, it was very, very strong. How many hours? Uh, over 4,000. I have no idea after that. I played a bit before I had the Steam version because someone gifted me the normal version or the non-DRM version when I was uh, uh, when it was still in Kickstarter, right after Kickstarter or whatever. Yeah, it's going to take too long to show it this way. I'll just do one... We'll just even do it out of wood. It doesn't matter. Okay. Let's know when it's over 9,000. For a thousand years, that's right. That's all. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Vox. All right. So this is roofed. Nutrifungus. You're going to get the thing that says, hey, sunlight will kill Nutrifungus. It's got to be dark enough. Keep going. Our modest fellowship expands. Come on. Praise finish the sun. Finish making the roof. There we go. Is the roof done? I think it's done. Oh, did he already plant it? That is the aggro hand, okay. But uh yeah, you can you can make roofed areas for your uh for your nutrifungus. If it's dark enough. It's still lit 50%. Oh, the lamp, the lamp. <laughs> I have lamps everywhere. Last time we had no lamps with our Tundler. All right. There we go. Nutrifungus not in over, under Overhead Mountain and not in um, Fungal Gravel. Excuse me, Gravel. Yeah, no worries. I just wanted to show just in case because I know not like, haha, I'm proving you wrong, but just in case anything was changed. And then also if anyone like watches later on, they want to see it. I don't have to be like, well, let me go check that, you know. But uh, yeah, our modest yeah, fellowship do it. expands. Praise the sub. Lock any of the rolls except for the leader roll. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. The world's loveliest neutrifungus, <laughs> Avos. 
Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Avos. Piano, thank you for using it here also. Much appreciated. Yeah, it has super low fertility sensitivity, which means it just grows about the same no matter what you plant it in. We're not going to get through all these corpses, that's for sure. through as many as we can. Okay. Lavish carnivore meals. Uh, they're just, just the bodies themselves are going to rot before we can even chop them all up, I'm pretty sure. Rot stinking coming yet. What I think about getting mechanics, I like mechanics all together and getting it in the very early game isn't too bad because you have the expectations, the high or the lower expectations early and you have the initial optimism. So, I mean, I don't know. It, it could be pretty decent to have mechanites early. Yes, I, I know how to burn them. Yeah. At the moment, I'm, I was just talking about that earlier. Right now, we're just letting them rot outside, but... We will eventually make something to dispose of it, but right now it can just deteriorate. I don't care about it too much. All right, uh, let's get that. I, Prozankin, man, you're always hurt. You're always hurt. All right, I'll get the implant on my character. Let's go ahead and put him up there. Let's see. Extract over. Oh, right. My character's a female this time. I was like, hang on. Why do I have these options? <laughs> that's right. That's right. All right. Can weaponize dead bodies now? Uh, yeah, but rot stink is more of a long-term problem, so. No, I can't adjust uh, channel points, no. How do the death rest vampire mechanic work? So basically, ever so often you're going to need to death rest your vampire we actually need to right now just right click on a bed and have them death rest if you don't they're going to get a physical penalty and a mood penalty now as your vampire gets upgrades to have more uh death rest capacity what that does is allow additional death rest beds to be connected to their coffin yeah thank you dirty thank you for watching over there Going Zeppelin. Can a Mechanitor be a vampire? Yes. Yep. You can have a Mechanitor vampire royal that connects with Guarlin trees if you want. It'd be kind of crazy, but you could. Some deity type pawn. Vampires look like they need multiple shifts. The death sleep is a long term thing. It takes multiple days. So you can kind of think of it almost like a psychic coma that you can wake them from early if you need to. You have a noble vampire mechanitor. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Are plant bots able to connect? Uh, no. No. The Guarlin tree is a connection to a single person. Can you give your vampires more genes? Yeah. I believe so. Animal disease. That's fine. All right. We are going to... Once this is done, we're going to... Oh, my God. We're going to send uh, our mule off on a faraway trip. Do German lines override certain ideology beliefs? I haven't, I haven't tested that. Yeah, like the clothing ones, like the ones that don't care if they're nude, etc. 
Congrats, congrats. Mass felt good hearing that credit song. How did Experiment turn out? He turned into a god. Trigger happy, tough, fast learner, fast walker, side casting, vampire skills, 15 burning passion shooting, legendary assault rifle. He was brought up through blood and pain and trial by combat. And it molded him into a god among normal pawns. He's so good. He's so good. Yeah, Lester. All right. Let's uh let's head off. All right. Holy crap, the closest Empire place is forever away. Um let's go trade an ally up here. Then we'll go over to the other pig place. Oh, our cooks aren't haven't been cooking. Because I had them butchering that entire time. And now they're tired and they need to cook. <laughs> it's like, why don't we have enough? Experiment will stay 13 forever. Oh, there's another switch fight. Okay. No, I don't know if it'll go up. To, I think it'll keep aging to 18. Where'd all the human leather come from? Uh, are you talking about humane leather? It, it appears that you dropped an E. That is humane leather. It is, uh, it is sourced legally from free range animals. And, uh, it's good for the environment. Using humane leather like that takes a lot of like carbon out of the world and for a long time like the foot the carbon footprint has been reduced by such a huge amount so yeah don't worry about it reduce reuse recycle do you need dye to do the floor and wall colors yes you do speaking of i wanted to redo some Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Let's see how the black structure paint looks. Uh, Subtle D. <laughs> they were the Twitch Prime. A Voss, they reason that here as well. Thank you, Subtle D. How important is clothing for protection from combat? Uh, it's, it's pretty important. So... I was talking about this the other day. So here, here it depends on which layer you're talking about. But if you're talking about just normal clothing, like um, button down shirt and stuff like that, obviously it helps. But I think people overvalue the difference in material. Yes, the, the top three, Hyperweave, Thrombo Fur, Double Strand, they're going to give you a few percentage more defense. But the real important ones are protecting, uh, are going to be the armor layer. So helmets and you know flak vests and power armor those are going to give you overall the biggest difference so like if if you're wearing a duster and a shirt and no flak vest or something like that the difference between like leather and cloth and devil strand is so low in percentage that it's probably not going to usually make the difference between getting one shot and dying or not but as soon as you put on like a flak vest you become much tankier so i think early on make your clothing out of whatever you have on hand why not visage masks have you seen the percent difference on visage masks and helmets you want to protect as high protection as you can on places that are insta kills like yeah the visage mask and the war mask are nice because it protects the entire face but it's still low it's still a pretty low percentage of defense you still want to grow Devil Strand for the long run, but you don't want to wait. Use whatever the best thing you have on hand is, and then later on... Go for it. 
why just one hospital bed? I don't need more yet. That was there for, um... That was there for childbirth. If you harvest a body part from a vampire, will it regrow? I've been told no. I haven't tested it, but I've been told no. All right. Now we can go. A bunch of devil strand, broad rats, or pawns. Stats seem decent. The stats are fine, but what my point is, the difference between just wearing a different cloth material or textile, and then having the extra layer of armor like with flak vest, it it's like it's completely different. So I think a lot of people are like, "All right, I'm I'm not gonna make clothing until I get to Devil Strand. You might as well make something, whatever you have." Devil Strand is the third best textile in the game. It's still going to be more defensive, but the percentage increase from going from leather to Devil Strand isn't as big of a difference as just getting a flak vest or armor on, is what, is what I'm what I'm getting at. So it can mean the difference, but it's a bigger difference to worry about getting that armor layer first. Or, you know, use whatever. Use whatever you can get early. Don't. I know I see a lot of people that are like, you know, just, just plant, wait until you have all Devil Strand, but it, Devil Strand takes a very long time. Like if you could, if you could just make it faster, then sure. But it's still worth doing in the long run. But just make some clothing as soon as you can with whatever. It really doesn't matter. And then before worrying about like, oh, what material is the clothing? It's better to worry about trying to get to armor like flak, if that makes more sense. Yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, Hyperweave and Thrumbo Fur are basically tied for number one, really. One of them has slightly better blunt. One of them has slightly better sharp. I like sharp more overall because it's the first thing rolled against with bullets. Um, and then after that, Double Strand is, is the next best textile, which is growable, but takes a long time. Hopefully that makes more sense explaining it that way. <laughs> Devil Strand doesn't give you a mood boost, no. So I don't know what you mean. Which one's better with sharp? Oh man, I think it's, I think it's hyperweave. It's just, it's barely different. It's like a few percent or something. I don't remember. One of them is a slightly better sharp, one slightly better blunt. It rolls against both when they get hit by a bullet anyway, but sharp is rolled first. All right, I think I'll take a little bit. Delstrian gives you a mood bot. Like IRL. Does Devil Strand protect from fire? No. No. Devil Strand items are fire resistant, but it doesn't like your person can still catch on fire. Depending on what you mean. What I think the best mech so far is the Mechanitor are. So I really like the early Militor, they're a little high wealth, higher wealth than what I think they should maybe be. But the Militor are great because, at the very least, they, they're they very cheap, easy to make, and they uh, can aggro the enemies, and so you can worry about shooting them elsewise. Um, past that, I've been experimenting with the other combat ones, so I can't really tell you which one I think is the best combat after that. But I will say that right now, Scythers are the constructed combat mech that is the lowest raid points it seems lowest wealth points for the damage and the reason why is right now how it works is the game is giving you wealth for the mech and for the mech's weapons separately and a scyther doesn't have a weapon their weapon is their arms so they don't actually get an extra so scythers as your mechanator mech you can actually get more of those without adding as many raid points to your game than you can with, a, like, the other mechs, so. How's the Recluse trait? It maxes out at minus eight. Recluse maxes out at minus eight. Now, the working mechs, they all seem pretty decent so far. Yeah, it just depends on what... I think it depends on what your colony is lacking. You just use more of what you you lack in your colony, and then if you're doing, a, like, a low pawn count one, that's going to be even more severe. Like, if, if the couple of pawns that you get, none of them are really great at at um, plants, then, you know, get more aggro hands, etc. Uh, 
All right, let's do the thing. It'll still make people upset how I'm going to do it, but I don't care. Maybe I should make them out of stone, so at least this place doesn't become an inferno. Yeah, we'll do that. But Adam, won't that slow down your people? Ah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It only slows them down the first tile. Adam, please don't. We're basically at raid cap, so pretty close to it. Right there is where we'll put that. Think of the children. Maybe for dryads, unless you go for the anti-attack build. The good thing about dryads, dryads aren't great, but the good thing about them is that they don't cost any wealth. They don't, they don't cause any field. You know, they're, they're high maintenance with the tree, but otherwise they're, they don't count against you in any way. What is this? The cheese run? No. <laughs> Does look like it though. Thermo Firmus, are we 1.6% more sharp? Thank you. So the Thermo Weave is a sharp one. Okay, okay. I had them backwards. So they're pretty they're basically neck and neck, yeah. Yeah, if you chose between the two, I would choose Thermo, but. Does the vampire have a leech type attack? Uh, they have uh, blood feed, which isn't really an attack. They have coagulate where they like stop a, a bleeding. And then they have spines that they can shoot out, which is pretty low distance though. Let's go on Lobus. Think of the children, children. Man, I really want to get this done today. One hour and then we'll have to redo it. And then we'll need uh, six more cycles. So like one season, one more season after this. Define Sanguifagia is worth it. They're pretty good because they only really die if their brain gets destroyed, right? So give your Sanguifage, or if they burn to death, I guess, which also destroys it. Give your Sanguifage like Cataphract Helmet and then they're pretty freaking good, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, I think the spines are a little weak too, yeah. I wish it, they had at least longer range. Cheaper or longer range, one of the two. Sanguine child became an adult. All right. Let's see. Sanguine child has been missing like half their body parts for their entire life. This is one of the children. This was originally blood one, I believe. This is one of the ones that was uh, in there with Lester from, from like three years old. We get three. Iron willed or kind. Iron Willed Leader with Sanguine Iron Willed Leader. Why am I experiment? Experiment is in death rest right now. How do I want the edited videos to look? Uh, I don't, I, it would be a long time to explain on the stream. I have a list of what I sent the people I've replied to so far. But you, I, I can always post it in Discord or something like that. Just remind me. We causing issues, Seahard? Not really. Not really. So they're going to be a leader. So we'll grab social. 
Gotta go in plants. Seems alright. I'm always happy it takes me longer to be sad, yeah. My my character's gonna be really upset. He's gonna get kicked off leading the colony. You're still alive, yeah. Alright, Sanguine Childs is gonna be our new leader. Well, my character is really gonna hate that. From three-year-old prisoner child locked in a cell with someone named Lester to the leader of the colony. All right. All right. Man, my person's going to really be upset with this. But in the long run, it's going to be for the best. Rags to riches. Name is the name of the child. No, we're going to we're going to see who gets the name. What's wrong with his mood? He has a recluse, so he has a minus eight from recluse. And leaders also have two tiers higher. So he has minus 12 from being leader. And he has minus eight from recluse. So he has a minus 20. So we've been looking for someone that will just basically stay happy. All right. Let's see who becomes the great leader. Who is it, bot? Who Mistro. Mistro? Maybe it's Maestro. Maestro with a Y. Alright. Dr. Shizubab. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, if you're if you're curious about the editing stuff, yeah, just let me know. I'll get outside the stream and I can send the information. Rare Thrombo is being a Thrombo fur. That's awesome. Thank you, Mafia. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for the bit. I do appreciate it. All right. Make them the leader. So minus 15 instead of the minus 12, so definitely worse. We'll see if we can counsel it. I've never tried counseling that. How long does it last? 10 days. All right, it's not too bad anyway. Okay. Do you have a favor at the end of the stream? We'll be around. Can you watch one of your pawns for four hours towards the end? stream and tell me how many meals they eat someone without increased hunger someone that just completely baseline eats two meals a day why do you think it's changed someone with no hunger increase at all from the new genes or anything like that just a baseliner with no no special genes no anything should be eating two meals a day if it's just meals unless something's changed very like which very well could with all the new stuff Hey, it worked. We canceled it out. Nice. So it doesn't even matter anymore. Is this from an episode that you made on YouTube? No, this is live. This will go on. This is the same run, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. This is the same run that is currently going up on YouTube. If that's what I'm guessing that's what you mean. Can your vampire be a three year old with uncovered groin just flailing in the wind? It can. Yeah. Yeah. I tested that. Yeah. Good question. Good question. The answer is yes. Alright, he's on his way. He had someone have six meals in a day. And there was nothing adding to it? Yeah. That shouldn't happen. Never hear it, hearing that. Yeah, I will never forget that. That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay. 
stuff like that. You have to ask about mods, yeah. You have no boss, can't plus rock band, wall lights, random plus, minimap, harmony. Huh. Yeah, the only thing different on yours than mine is uh minimap and rocket man and wall light, I guess. Oh, I moved the um, stone cutters up here anyway, right? You're getting trees ravaged from harvesting cocoa. Yeah, I I remember people talking about that when ideology came out. I guess they haven't changed it. Yeah, seems pretty dumb. I thought when Ideology came out that it was unintentional, but. There's been some food eating issues with 1.4 that haven't gotten fixed yet. Okay. I swear, man, it feels like Rainy sends less raids since uh, the expansion, too. But every time I call in a mech or a boss, we get a raid with it, which is very odd. All right, let's trade here. No way we're going to be able to buy enough to s cover all that, but uh, let's see. All the components, all the advanced components, um, the barrels. Skill trainer. For oh, maybe we will. If we buy all the barrels, I guess we will. Yeah, we can do that. Buy the barrels. Um, okay. And then we will hop over here. See, it's been getting very few raids. Yeah, several people have been saying that in the chat, yeah. Oh, I could have grabbed the Archite Castle, yeah. I haven't been doing any of the Gene stuff on this one yet. I was trying to just do Mechanic Tour stuff and then go into Gene's, but maybe I should have just grabbed it. No chocolate for your children. <laughs> Sorry, kids. All right. So 1.3, we betas are eating like 7,500 corn a year. Wow. <laughs> the world map? Uh, sure. What's with the floors? It's modern art. Have you ever been to a children's hospital? There's my uh, world map. Raids probably counting their bosses raids, maybe. Hmm. Would I use a slightly modded Randy that attacked a little bit more? Maybe actually. The base is almost looking clean. <laughs> How detrimental is too smart in the early game? I actually don't mind too smart too much. Yeah, I'm Smurf and I are working on a traits guide which will give you the raw numbers of, of how good and bad it is really in different parts of the game. But I don't mind it too much, honestly. Even in the early game. In the, in the early game, you're going to have, like, lower expectations. You're going to have um, initial optimism. Like, there's there's a lot going early game that helps you to not be breaking down all the time. So. Yeah, I like, I like very neurotic as well. Very neurotic. Remember our very neurotic, industrious miner with dual... Dual drill arms, just walking through mountains. Ooh, another masterwork rifle. Say, Matt, you thought you haven't seen the whole first episode? Uh, yes, this is still my first biotech run, yep. Same one that's going up on YouTube, yep. Care about too smart early games entirely based on how much mood matters to your early game. Minus 14 is a lot, but it's doable. 
What is the wind condition? There's four different wind conditions in RimWorld to see the credits. You either build a ship, you research the ship, you build your own ship, you launch it, you get off the planet. Or you travel to the down ship, you protect it, and you get off the planet. With royalty, you go up the ranks of royalty, you uh, become whatever. Um, anyway, you protect the... One second. Uh, you go through an event kind of like ship launch where you protect a royal and they send a ship and they take you off the planet. Then you see the credits. The fourth ending is with ideology and that one is uh, the Arco Nexus, which is a long chain of quests. So. All right. This is one of the other children. I think this was a. Oh, this one's fully grown now, too. This is kind of, well, this is not, we can just do Jealous because Jealous doesn't matter. Uh, Jealous doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything in a barracks, so. I didn't forget that one. That's literally the second one I said. Travel to the ship. Bloodlust? No. I don't want the extra social fights, and I don't need the mood increase, so. All right. It's pretty much going to be happy all the time, anyway. Beautiful, I don't want the mood. I don't want... I don't want social fights. Beautiful causes social fights, too. All right. Jealous literally doesn't do anything. It doesn't... It's just nothing. It doesn't do anything. And play this alpha. Yeah, you, so you travel to the down ship, and you guard it. You go the same, uh, go through the same raids that you would if you built your own ship, and then you uh, launch it. Yeah. Psychic would be bad because if we psychically hypersensitive, not only are we not doing psychic casting, but if we it also works with uh, negative events. So, do psychopaths cause social fights? Kind of. They cause social issues, which can lead to social fights, I guess, is how is the best way to put it. And they also don't get benefits from some a lot of the social things, but... I'm sure I want to put this maybe down here. But yeah, we're not doing side casting, really, so... Alright. Those are done. We'll, uh, we'll fix some other stuff. Yeah, I'm not doing side casting this time, no. What are the lines connecting statues mean? Oh, this. So this is the meditation area for the statues. So someone meditating here is going to get the benefit of those statues. If, if they have that kind of meditation. All right, we made it. Take all of that. Let's see what genes they have. Psychic bonding. Mm. All right, we got a crap load of stuff to bring back. Oh boy, hopefully he doesn't get hit. Yeah, I think it increases the psi focus gain of meditation, just like you see the green line with the anima tree. And when you put like nature shrines and stuff in there. Tater, welcome in. All right, uh, I'm going to split the recording. I actually, actually meant to do it about 30 minutes ago. The stream will continue. Let me split this and we'll go into the last one of today because I got I do have to get off here a little bit earlier today because I have to go to my uh, daughter's school for a for their whatever. There's a meeting, you know, every semester or whatever with parents. So anyway, let me stop that recording and then we'll start up a new one immediately.